What's up everyone and welcome back to more Gods of War Chain of Olympus walkthrough. This is the Origins collection that just came out for PS3. And so here we go. You have acquired the primordial fire. Okay, so I need to use this to reflect, eh? You obviously just have to press block right before the attack hits, and you can throw back attacks. Back at ya! Acquired. It's hard to see this angle right here when it's about to hit. There we go. And that's how you do that. Not too bad. Pretty simple. And so once again, I'm just going to check the surrounding areas just to see. Up, oh, yep. There's a chest hidden. So one more feather, and then I'll have updated or increased magic. All right. And um, it looks like I have enough orbs to upgrade again. So it's probably a good idea to do that if you're at the same point as I am. Let's see, I will upgrade. Increased damage. Rapid fire, light of dawn. I will do my Efreet. Still got 2,000, so I will do this. So these guys, as you can see, are not too bad. They just keep attacking you. Just have to dodge their attacks or block them whenever. And then you could do this uh, juggle, which is always useful. And as always, uh, doing the finishing attacks on guys when the circle appears over their head will give you either health or magic or just more red orbs than normal. So let's see. If I go this way? No. Can I jump off here? Most likely. I think this is where I was before at the beginning. I don't need to upgrade my magic. So now where can I go to? Thank you. 
Oh yeah. I don't know if I trust this, but Kratos does. Can I fall off here? Yeah, it looks like I can. It's been a while since I played this game, so bear with me while I try to figure these out. I've already been here, obviously. So it looks like this is the correct way to go. Alright. obviously been over this way as well. We are going to head back. And yeah, this looks like the correct path. I can use my shield there to open that door, but once again, I'm going to just make sure there's nothing else over here to collect. These devs love to hide things. I've been over here as well. But let's see. So this is where I started out earlier, and I'm hoping this is the way back to where I need to be. And it looks like it. So once again, just use your circle button to grab and stomp these guys. They're pretty simple if you use this method rather than actually trying to fight them. Uh, not too difficult. Kratos loves stomping on baby headed bird creatures. He's kind of a jerk like that. Look at this 39 hits. So this is quite the way to get your uh, combo up and your red orb consumption. Can I reach a hundred hit combo? Doesn't look like they're going to be enough. Nope. So yeah, not too difficult of uh, an elevator ride. Kratos just stomping on birds' faces. And already I'm up to 3,000 orbs. One thing that's great about these uh, newly updated high definition remastered versions of the games, oh there you go, there's the fifth phoenix feather. Uh, what I was going to say is the great thing about this is you can use the right analog stick to roll around like that, whereas on PSP it's slightly different, I think you have to hold down the right trigger and then press in a direction to do it, but this is just a little more intuitive. Not that that was bad on PSP, it worked surprisingly well and this game was and awesome almost seemed familiar. okay so there's a chest in the corner to Kratos' left that I could see when the camera panned that way might as well try to get that first there you go another Gorgon eye 
And again with these guys. So the best method is to just grab their fireballs and hurl them back at them. I should say deflect. You're not actually grabbing the fireball, but pretty much the same thing. So another chest over this way. Oh. So there's a red chest up here. Great looking game, PSP and now. Looks like this is a good place to cut, so stay tuned for more in the God of War walkthrough.